Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ish Makan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you an interesting package that I recently made in Python Flask. So the package name is Easy Flask Swagger. So what this package or library can do is that it can automatically generate the documentation for you from your Flask API with least manual effort. So I have published this library on PyPy as well. So you can go here and you can see this right here. You can run the pip install easy hyphen flask hyphen swagger and then you can install this in your laptop. So it's quite easy to use basically. So what you can do is that you just have to import it and then give a title then you can define paths here so for example you can assign a collection as authentication and pass all of the endpoints like sign up login etc also you can create schemas so schemas are nothing but the models that you, you are using in the api and then you can create the description as well for each of these collections that you've made and then you can simply create a dictionary as well or you can export it in json as well so what this will do is that this can export to json and then you can use the swagger library that i can show you as well basically first let's just go to the source code and see if you want the source code then i can provide this url as well in the description box below so do check it out so basically first you have to install this library so you have to open up command prompt and then paste it right here so what this will do is that this will automatically install the library in your computer so as you can see that mine is already installed right so let's just move further with this and let me show you how I made this and the source code. So inside here you can see that we are having a easy flask swagger folder and inside here I am having a init.py file which is basically exporting the main class that we are having. So basically there is a package that is named as flask swagger UI. So what this can do is that this package automatically generates the documentation but based on the swagger.json file that you have to create manually. So you have to create this file manually as shown here in this URL. So let's just go here. So you can see that this is the JSON file that you have to mention like swagger version information tags and all of these things paths schema. So it's a bit of a difficult task to manage all of these. So I created a simple package known as easy hyphen flask swagger. So what this will do is that this will automatically generate this JSON file with just these line of code. You don't have to make any other changes in your API as well. So first let me show you how you can do that. Inside the test folder I have created a basic flask.py. So basically this is a flask API and this is a model that we can use as you can see here a user model. And this is a test.py file that you can use here for generating the documentation. Right. So basically I am importing the library and I have to import all of the models and all of the endpoints that I am having. And also I have to import enum and pprint for printing the dictionary or I can export that as well that I will show you later on. So first you have to create all of the 
blueprint collection that you are having so for example i have a api for authentication and an endpoint for sign up so i created a collection as swagger tags and i named it as authentication then you have to name the documentation so this name will be shown in the swagger ui right it has other parameters as well like info open api version title and version as well so you can pass these as well and these are nothing but the the top information that we are having version title and these info description and all so those are optional then i'm creating an object known as efs now before generating i first have to simply set the paths path is nothing but all of the endpoints that i am having so for for example i have a, a, a collection for all of my messages then i'll create a enum here and then i have to create swagger tags dot messages and then inside this array i have to pass all of my messages and points that i am having like read messages update a message delete a message etc so i have to make that then here inside the schemas i can pass all of the models so for example a message model that i can pass here like that so currently i have made a model as a user model here so i am simply importing the user mo model and passing that to the schema so that the script can automatically generate the schema the model for the swagger ui after then i have to create a set description as well so what this will do is that this will generate description for each of your collection or tags so for for example i have created one authentication tag here so i can simply pass a description as well so that the user can know what this collection will do and then i can simply print it out to the console as well so let me just open up a powershell and run this make it save output run again swagger.json and you can see that it automatically created this complete swagger documentation json for me and you can see that it has all of the info description it automatically passed as some information but we can update that version title that what we passed paths so it automatically extracted the endpoints from the api so you can see that in the flask i have a endpoint sign up so it's extracted that as well and then it has the method tags it's related to summary and what the result is similarly i am having tags as well so i have one tag known as authentication and then we have the open api version we have the schemas so i have a user model which is nothing but the mobile number first name last name all of these things and it has the enum as well so it is automatically generated and i don't have to write this complete json on my own and as long as by the time we scale the project of a flask project it will be difficult to keep track of all of the end points in the api so that is why we just have to run the test.py and it will automatically generate that for us a limitation or a loophole that i have to mention is that it won't automatically generate with just this code only you have to first let's go to the flask application 
you can see that in the end point I am passing a doc string here so you have to pass that inside the docs doc string the end point here the method and then the description of that particular end point here so that's it and similarly in the models in the doc string you have to pass what all of the class members you are having inside the user model and then what is the type if it is string if it is integer boolean or if it is a enum then you can simply pass like that enum and in the array you can pass this and then what this field will do like user mobile number user first name description for that so basically what this program is doing is that it is automatically extracting these doc string and then converting these doc string into the swagger json as you can see each of these property inside the user schema is nothing but the, the description that we are having the type and the name of the property like the same we have inside our model for the mobile number right so for this library to work you just have to pass these three things inside uh, the doc string and the library will automatically e extract these from the doc string and then generate the swagger.json for you so basically i thought this idea because as you guys know or maybe you don't that i am working on a whatsapp loan application inside flutter and the backend is written in python flask so i was thinking that how can we make the api with the documentation for you guys so that you can see what all endpoints are there so for that i thought that i should create a package which can help others as well if they want to generate the documentation automatically so if you want to know more about this whatsapp loan application then i can link the playlist right here also if you want to see the documentation uh, in a complete live project then i am creating a whatsapp app in the flask backend and i will use this package to generate the documentation automatically so you can check out the source code as well to see how it works in life and for example now if you want to serve this swagger.json what you have to do is that you have to first install this flask swagger ui and then basically you just have to call this blueprint here like i have made in the previous part as well let me show, show you that so inside the whatsapp app we are having I was working on the MongoDB database that I will release that video soon. So I was working on that as well. So you can see that in the main.py to implement the Swagger UI, you just have to pass these lines here. The end point that you are having, the API URL and the Swagger blueprint and then register that blueprint so we can add these lines basically and also we have to import the library as well so here as you can see we are having the swagger.json inside the static folder fo fo this is automatically generated with the help of the library that i was just talking about right so that's it for this video i wanted to show you and if you like the project then make sure to star it as well on the github and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel with notifications turned on because more of these type of python videos and based on flutter and different open source libraries i will be sharing with you guys as well so to keep posted make sure to subscribe as well so on that note let's end this video